All right, this is the Thunderbolts trailer. And let's see, it's been a while. What's the last trailer that came out for Marvel that I checked out? I think it was Captain America, Brave New World, which I actually thought looked pretty good. Actually, I took that back. I checked that out and the Agatha All Alone trailer together and was not a fan of the Agatha All Alone trailer, and I'm not currently watching that. It's currently out now, but the Captain America Brave New World, I thought actually looked really good, and I'm somebody who has been kind of down on Marvel really since, I guess, No Way Home. I, I, lo I love No Way Home, but beyond that, I haven't really been that big of a fan of what Marvel's put out since... 2019 when the Avengers the Infinity Saga ended and I haven't seen Wolverine and Deadpool yet I may check that out on streaming but I'm curious to see this this Thunderbolts deal because on paper if this had been coming out yeah you know, five years ago six years ago when Marvel was at its peak I would have been very excited about this because it's it's like you know, kind of a villain or anti-hero team-up. And it's using a lot of characters from the Marvel movies that I really like, like Winter Soldier. I love, it's one of my favorite Marvel movies. I actually enjoyed Black Widow. I felt like it would have been more effective had it come out, like, 2017, right after Civil War, since that's where it falls in the timeline. And as it is, it just... We already know how Black Widow and Natasha's story arc ends, so there wasn't a lot of investment. And then I had some issues with the climax, but I did like Yelena's character, Florence Pugh. I think she's one of the best actresses working now. She's in this movie. It looks like it's really her movie from what I've seen of some of the promotional material. So, yeah, let's check it out. But first, like, subscribe, comment, click the bell for notifications, consider supporting us on Patreon for exclusive perks, it's really cheap, and subscribe to the Words Like That Arts and Media Podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Alright, now shut up and get to it! I click leave on porch. Your subordinates will be reported to DoorDash HQ. Alexi, it's me. Open it's up. Fun. Milena? Hold oh, on! Milena! Hi, Dad. Sorry about the wait. Uh, it was an important call. Highly classified. Lot of this work. is a Lot long teaser work. trailer. Many irons in fire. You feel fulfilled? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so full. So filled. But why do you ask this? What, uh, what brings you here? Mm. Look, look pretty good so far. There is something wrong with me. An emptiness. I'm just drifting. But and I don't have purpose. I thought throwing myself into work was the Sad answer. QSH. sent you Bob nobody okay. stop it right there yeah okay first of all is this this is called a teaser trailer they're calling it a teaser trailer and it's like almost this is three and a half minutes long which is kind of long for a quote-unquote teaser trailer but that aside so far I'm digging the look of it Maybe maybe it's running a little long for the setup. I feel like there was a, the narration there was a lot of telling, not showing, which you can you can do that on a trailer, not like in the movie. But 
I think we maybe needed a little less. We didn't need as much to get the setup and know and understand what was going on. And I, they maybe showed a little bit too much. It's, it's kind of nitpicky though. But so far, I'm digging it. Yelena here, you've established that she's unfulfilled in what she's doing. She's gone and seen her quote-unquote dad. And he's obviously has nothing going on in his life. He's not working. He's laying around, eating, getting fat, living in this messy house, messy apartment, whatever it was. And she's obviously gone there to see him to... Maybe recruit him, not sure where in the story that scene's going to take place. But she's continued to try to throw herself into her work, and it's not really working. And here she's obviously on a mission, and she gets to whatever this place is. And it's being guarded by these villain, anti-heroes, morally gray characters from previous Marvel movies and series. You've got U.S. Agent, who was introduced in Falcon and Winter Soldier, you've got the ghost from Ant-Man 2, Ant-Man the Wasp. You've got Taskmaster, I believe that was from Black Widow, from the movie that Yelena was introduced in. And then you got this Bob guy who, spoiler alert, he's supposed to be Sentry, from my understanding. So, I, it, it looks good, the look of the film's good, the action looks good. It seems to be in that vein of Marvel that... I'm not sure if I would call it my favorite side of Marvel, but certainly one of my most preferred sides of Marvel, like the the Winter Soldier and Civil War kind of political action thriller, spy thriller vibe. So, so far, doesn't look bad. Let's finish it up. Hey, are you all, you are all sent? Oh, okay, maybe they're not guarding. Maybe they're all brought Everyone together. Everyone here has done bad things. Okay. Shadow ops. Robbing government labs. Contract kills. Yeah, so? So, someone wants us gone. Sam just like his dad, Kurt Russell there. Wyatt. That not like Kurt. What the hell? We're brought up with this belief. Blame. That there are good guys and there are bad guys. What's the plan? This could get messy. But eventually, you come to realize that there are bad guys and there are worse guys hmm. and nothing else. Look at you. So adorable. She's bulletproof. What happened to bulletproof? It's bulletproof-ish. Is that Bucky? That's not good. Okay. Yeah, wow. Once again, a lot of footage there. Was not expecting that for the first trailer. You had Julia Louis-Dreyfus in there who was introduced, I think it was Falcon Winter Soldier she was introduced on as, what's uh, what's her name? Anyway, regardless, she's bringing them together. We already knew that. If, if, any, if you've seen anything about this movie or followed any of the Marvel stuff in recent years, we already knew that. So it looks like I was wrong. I thought Black Widow had gotten there, Yelena had gotten there to that warehouse or whatever it was, lab, and the team was already there guarding it, but it sounded like from the dialogue, they had actually all been brought there independently for, I guess, the same job, supposedly, and then it's like, no, we're bringing you together as a team. Bucky seems to initially be an antagonist for them. I like the line. You think they're, whatever she said, you think there's good guys and bad guys. I think you realize there's bad guys and worse guys, so it's setting up that these are all kind of bad guys, but there's a lot worse out there. So they're going to be a team and come together to come to this mission. And even though they're bad, they're better than the worst. We haven't seen who the villain is, quote unquote, even though they're all kind of villains. 
and I've tried to avoid any kind of spoilers in case I do want to check this one out. So I'm not sure who the villain is, and they avoided showing that in the trailer, which I think is a good idea, unless the villain ends up being somebody in the group betrays somebody. I can see that because these aren't the greatest people. Bucky, I'm deducing, is going to end up, even though he seemed like being an antagonist there, at least in part, it seems like he's going to team up with them. Was he... No, okay. There, he was. I'm looking at the footage here. He actually was with them in the elevator scene, and they're meeting with Julia Louis Dreyfus. So obviously, he's going to join the team. But I do wonder about the asterisk. There's been a lot of speculation of why it was retitled Thunderbolts, just Thunderbolts, to Thunderbolts asterisk. So obviously, that's going to be something. Is this? Is it going to be that they're actually the Dark Avengers? If you're familiar with the comics, you know the implications of that. I don't know. It looks interesting. It looks like, it looks more like Black Widow to me, like a lower tier of the action spy thriller side of the MCU. If that's the case, this may be a wait for streaming watch for me, not go to the theater unless this just gets incredible word of mouth or maybe I don't have anything to do or I've got a lot to do but I need a break I may go check it out in theaters what do you think what what is the MCU still appealing to you are you still following it if you're not does a movie like this make you say oh maybe I'll start checking Marvel movies and series out again let us know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed that clip. If you did, consider supporting us on Patreon for the full episode. Subscribe to YouTube if you haven't already, and we'll see you soon. <music>